Welcome back to Geology Info. Today with an important update about Campi Flegrei. Recently, scientists from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology have released discoveries that are causing extreme concern in the international scientific community. New studies reveal that phreatic explosions could trigger rivers of boiling mud originating from the main Solfatara crater, which would travel the entire distance to reach the Mediterranean Sea. This possibility is not merely theoretical, but based on concrete geological evidence indicating similar events have already occurred in the region's geological past. What makes this situation even more alarming is the discovery that Campi Flegre may be progressively evolving toward conditions increasingly favorable for a large-scale volcanic eruption. Unlike previous seismic crises of the 50s and 80s, which were treated as isolated events, researchers now understand that all these episodes are part of a continuous process of stress accumulation in the Earth's crust. The rock layer that functions as a lid over the magmatic system has lost two-thirds of its structural resistance since the last major seismic crisis. Currently, the region is experiencing a new earthquake swarm with magnitudes ranging between 1.8 and 2.1 on the Richter scale accompanied by a peculiar phenomenon, where the ground in the central area of the caldera sank approximately two centimeters, about three quarters of an inch, after the last intense period of seismic activity. Local residents report a growing sense of insecurity, describing underground sounds and constant vibrations that disturb their daily routines. The international scientific community is divided between necessary alerts and the fear of causing unnecessary panic in a population that has already lived with constant volcanic threats for decades. The theory of progressive approach toward eruption represents a radical change in scientific understanding about Campi Flegre's behavior. For decades, local authorities classified Brady seismic activity as normal, reassuring the population about constant tremors and ground elevations. However, scientists from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology itself always maintained a contrary position stating that Bradyseism only occurs before or after volcanic eruptions. Considering there has been no recent eruption, logic indicates that the region is in a pre-eruptive period that could extend for years or decades. Since 1950, three main episodes of significant ground elevation have been recorded in the region. The first occurred between April 1950 and May 1952. The second episode developed between July 1969 and July 1972. The third major period of instability happened between June 1982 and December 1984. Adding all these elevations with the current crisis that began in 2005, the region's ground has risen more than 4 meters, 13 feet in total, without any significant eruption occurring. The elastic, brittle failure model applied by researchers reveals concerning data about progressive stress accumulation in the Earth's crust. Traditionally, each instability episode was considered an independent event with the assumption that the crust completely relaxed accumulated stress after each crisis. However, quantitative evidence demonstrates that stress continues accumulating cumulatively through decades. The current elevation of 1 meter and 55 centimeters, about 5 feet, since 2005 may seem modest compared to the 6 or 7 meters, 20 to 23 feet, recorded before Monte Nuovo's eruption, but when considered together with previous episodes, it reveals an extremely concerning pattern population density in the risk zone represents an unprecedented aggravating factor in modern volcanological history. Unlike stratovolcanoes with easily identifiable conical shapes, large calderas like Campi Flegre present relatively flat topography that doesn't immediately reveal their dangerous volcanic nature. This characteristic led to intensive urban development directly over one of the planet's most dangerous volcanic structures. Pozzuoli, situated at the caldera's center, concentrates the highest population density and experiences the most intense ground movements recorded since Roman times. The reactivation of the magmatic system after more than 420 years of relative tranquility coincides with exponential population increase in the Naples metropolitan region. Millions of people reside in the eastern vicinity of the caldera, creating a risk scenario that combines extreme natural threat with massive human vulnerability. Ancient masonry constructions in Pozzuoli are particularly susceptible to constant earthquakes, significantly increasing the risk of structural collapses even before an eventual eruption. But does the population really understand the magnitude of danger that surrounds them daily? The discovery of an intermediate aquifer located between 2.7 and 4 kilometers, 1.7 to 2.5 miles, 
Deep beneath Solfatara Crater represents a fundamental piece for understanding Campi Flegre's current behavior. This thermal fluid reservoir functions as a natural pressure cooker that is being gradually heated and pressurized by ascending magmatic gases. Scientists have identified that this aquifer is directly responsible for ground elevation, constant earthquakes, and intensification of gas emissions in the region's fumaroles. Constant monitoring reveals increasing temperatures and increasingly aggressive chemical compositions in released gases. The Bacca Grande and Bacca Nova fumaroles in Solfatara crater release superheated steam containing carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and methane in alarming concentrations. Using specialized geothermometers and geobarometers, researchers managed to map three distinct aquifers at different depths in Campi Flegre's subsurface. The intermediate aquifer, which causes the current Brady seismic crisis, is being heated and pressurized continuously through a magmatic degassing process that shows no signs of diminishing. The situation creates ideal conditions for hydrothermal or phreatic explosions that can occur without significant prior warnings. The conceptual model developed by scientists is based on 40 years of fumarolic fluid analysis combined with geological information obtained through geothermal drilling conducted in the 70s and 80s. These drillings reached maximum depths of 3 kilometers, about 2 miles, providing crucial data about the caldera's subsurface structure. Fumarolic gases function as messengers that transport information about deep sources and chemical reactions occurring within the volcanic system. Through this detailed chemical analysis, researchers can monitor in real time the pressure and temperature conditions in underground aquifers. The existence of a vertical fissure one kilometer, about 3,300 feet, long connecting the magma chamber to the surface, adds an extremely concerning dimension to the current scenario. This structure, recently discovered through advanced seismic imaging techniques, represents a potential pathway for rapid magma ascent if pressure in the system increases significantly. The fissure needs only a small additional pressure increment to become active, transforming an eventual phreatic explosion into a precursor of direct magmatic activity. Progressive weakening of cover rocks due to constant earthquakes facilitates this rupture process. If this content sparked your curiosity about volcanology and extreme geological phenomena, subscribe to the channel to follow the latest discoveries about our dynamic planet and the forces that continue shaping our world.